Hey, what's up guys? So watch this video here for Friday. I can't believe it's Friday already. October 30th. Halloween this weekend. Um, all right, so I'm showing you the SPY. Had that ugly sell-off yesterday and today at one point was kind of an engulfing candle, a bullish engulfing candle, but ended up giving some back near the end of the day. A couple of highlights from today um, and there were many, but these are the only two I took screenshots of. So these are the ones I'm going to show you. Solo called uh, opening range breakout over 265 because NIO was so strong. Um, you know, another EV play and the chart looked good over 265. My stop was literally a nickel below. Um, and it just ended up just ripping for me. Had a really nice trade in that one. Let's get that out of the way and I'll show you NIO, which is the one that started the EVs for me. Um, I call this long as a pullback play. This is probably my favorite setup. When you have a stock like NEO that was breaking out, of, and you don't see the daily chart here, but it's breaking out on the daily, this first pullback, look at that, mid fives buy zone, retesting the high of day, right? You see that all the time. And it went, I don't know, like a dime below the high of day, which is where I told everybody I love that area. Um, I actually didn't find out till later in the day that I had a position because I had two bids in, one didn't get filled and I didn't realize till later that one did. Um, but that is a beautiful, beautiful setup right there. Love it. And it ended up, by the way, it ended up going to, uh, let's look at NEO real quick. It ended up going up over 32 bucks. Um, so when you switch back to fives, there's that pullback right there. I caught this within a dime from the low and then it never looked back. I love, love, love that setup. And if you're not a member in our chat room or haven't taken our course, um, we have a free webinar that talks a little bit about buy zone pullback. So you may want to check that out. Um, let's get into the watch list for tomorrow. Neo is going to be on watch because it's so strong. I mean, it's just crazy strong. It's also extended. So it do, you know, will we get a trade in it tomorrow? Who knows? Um, remember when you watch my videos, I'm in cash every night looking for, I'm posting a list here and looking for things to possibly trade tomorrow, but I'm in cash every night. All right. So that's NIO is going to be on watch. CODX had this nice pop and really just kind of coiling sideways. So I don't love it, but I'm going to watch it. SUNW, um, a little bit of extra volume today and it's been in sideways consolidation for a little over a week and starting to turn back up. Solar play uh, along those same, same lines. If CO, uh, or I'm sorry, if SUNW goes, Peck, P-E-C-K, <clears throat> excuse me, tends to go with it. Um, so I want to watch that one as well. P-O-L-A, huge move today. Um, if I hover over this candle, 252 to 387 was the range and a pretty strong close. So maybe a follow through day tomorrow. R-L-G-Y, big breakout today on strong volume, maybe a continuation day tomorrow. Um, I already talked about solo, but I want to watch it for a continuation day tomorrow. It had a recent high of uh, 335 and today's high 309. So those are two numbers to remember tomorrow. O S U R um, had this nice pop here, then a lower high, but it's really kind of coiling below 16. So we're going to watch for a volume push through 16. Then maybe we start knocking down these catalysts. So, um, you know, it's a COVID testing play. So it's kind of in the sweet spot. We're going to watch that M G E N massive volume yesterday, much lower volume today, gap down, but ended up having a bullish engulfing candle and topped out at the half. So this thing's really strong. We want to keep an eye on that one. SPI might get going if Sun W and Peck get going. So that's why this one's on watch. Today, um, the high was 880. So that's kind of a spot to watch if Peck um, and Sun W get going. I, I, I think SPI um, could be a nice uh, sympathy play. Um, EAST actually looks good in and of itself, right? You had this pop back here and it's coiling. A little extra volume today. It looks poised for a breakout, but that's not why it's on the list. It's um, in after hours, it went up over $1.80 and then closed or actually after hours is still open. Anyway, it's trading at $1.57 right now. So potential gap play tomorrow. And then lastly, AIRI. A um, little extra volume today, but again, that's not why it's on the list. It's trading at $1.63 all the way up here in after hours. So that's also a potential gap play tomorrow. Um, that's plenty to watch and we'll find some gappers as well. I'm done babbling. We'll see you guys in the chat room in the morning.